Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing some maintenance on the bus. As you notice, uh, last month or so, I had a problem with the bus not wanting to start, so I got that fixed. So today, we're going to do some maintenance, and I'll show you what I'm going to change today. We've got a, down here, a leaking axle seal. Not axle seal, but a uh, hubcap. Right here, it's leaking out. So we'll be putting a new cap on that. I got one of these fancy dancy caps to put in there, fill it back full of oil, and then uh, stop that leak. And the other thing we're going to be doing is to change in a glow plug relay. It's not bad, not yet, but if I can get up here to it, it's right up here. This part is the glow plug relay on this diesel engine, the 6.0 diesel. Um, it's not bad, but when I was checking the other things, uh, when the bus wouldn't start, I found this, and you can look at it. It's not supposed to be doing that, so this is about ready to fall out. And if that breaks off or corrodes through, I've got another no start situation. So we're going to change that out today and also fix the, the seal. Got my trusty dog back here, supervising. You gonna supervise today? Yeah, he's ready to supervise. You want to supervise a treat, what he wants to supervise. So let me uh, get set up and we'll get started. All right, this hubcap should be pretty easy to deal with. We'll find out in a second. Um, it's just leaking out around the seal. So when I drive, it spins oil out of it. So Got me a glove, and it should just pop right off. It's just a rubber cap. Oh, there it goes. It's just a little rubber cap. And then uh, inside of this is just oil. This is basically keeps your bearings and things greased in there. And the cap just keeps it on. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil because I haven't lost much. There we go. This is just a hub oil, so you can put on that. And then I'm going to clean up this rim. Try to get some, some of this extra grease off of it. This will also help me know what it's leaking again if we keep it dry. All right. And I should just pop this right in place. And get her in there that and there we go just like that and that should do it and that didn't do it because i broke it uh crap well that didn't work out too well now i have to replace the entire cap because this piece here didn't realize it that's metal with guess what a plastic end and i had a friend of mine said i always break them when i push those in and now i know what he means because when i push that in i snap the cap on the end of it so i've got to try something i got some silicone and some things in there going to dry some caulking of some sort to maybe put it back on where I can get to the dealership about 20 miles away and get a new cap or order one online so we'll go on to the next project this is a this is a no-go on that so be careful with the caps they are plastic and after 18 years they uh, they're very brittle evidently so uh, we'll work on something else and then uh, if we get that fixed we'll post it later but it won't be done on this trip because uh, I don't have the part so I've always tried to find out whenever you're replacing something to have the parts on hand. Like I should have just gone ahead and got the cap, the whole assembly, and not just a, the 50 cent cap that went on the end of it. Because now it's going to cost me another $20 or whatever for that piece there. But uh, at least I'll have a correcting match because the one on the other side had been replaced at one time. Probably did the same thing. I'm sure they probably broke it off some. So we're going to get the uh, work on this relay up here and get this. And next, 
and chances are I'll probably wind up breaking something on it because the red wire is really super corroded and loose and most likely that may break on the inside but I do have replacements and these boxes are two of them this is a, a Dormont Dormon Dorman and this is an Alliance Alliant power and so um, what I had ordered was this one uh, because it's about 40 bucks and um, it said it would fit and work and it will work but the problem is it won't really fit very well because the way that is mounted get my camera tilts back the way that is mounted on there it's got end to end and this has side to side so uh, I can mount it and put it on like this but I only have one screw in it and with the vibration of the engine and uh, the shaking I decided to go ahead and just get the original one which is get this here this uh, lion power uh, there we go and as you can tell it'll be an exact match with that one look at there it should just fit right on there I'm missing a couple nuts on there, but I can reuse those ones on the ones on the old one. So, uh, but this way it'll bolt right to the top of the engine on that bracket and hopefully not fall apart. I'm also going to cut the end of that wire off right there, that red wire, and put a, a new lug nut on the end of it because that is pretty corroded and I'm afraid if I try to use it again it won't make good contact and then I'll be stuck. So let me try to get this parts tools when I need and uh, we'll go from there. I just need three sockets. I think there's a 8, 10 and a 13. Should fit all three of those bolts on there. So we'll get set up here and see if I can take that off without breaking something. So be right back.
we go. Let's see if I got enough cable. I need more for it than I don't know. I'll give it just a wee bit more. Well, evidently, I forgot to turn the camera back on. Um, so, when I was doing this, but I did get it back together. I uh, got the new positive with the heat shrink on the end of it. Got my new nuts in there and everything's bolted down tight. And I did clean off this terminal ends on this one to make sure that they're a good connection. And that's good and tight. We got plenty of room on the positive wire. And so everything is in place. It's mounted back through the engine brackets. So now we'll see if it starts up. So we'll back off here. And let me go inside and crank on it and see what happens. It should start up hopefully quickly. Key is on. Uh, my weight light is glowing and the weight to start is now off. So here we go. There we go. That's what we like to hear. I'm glad to see it starts. That's a good thing. And I was pointing out on this, this one, there's no way would I get that off. Somewhere down the road or in the parking lot, I would have been stuck. So luckily I have the right part uh, and it did come off pretty easy. I was able to put a new end on it and uh, maybe keep that problem from happening later on down the line. But the part for that is what's this. Uh, this is just a part number for it. This was for the uh, 6.0, the VT365. But this one was about $80. That other one I showed you earlier with the side angle hose was about $40. it will go back to Amazon. They both would work, but I just like to have them mounted correctly. Especially since it's so much vibration on this diesel engine. So we got it going um, and keep me from maybe from breaking down later on. And so, and as for this hub, as you saw earlier, um, I'll get a new part and I'll put that on and I'll fix that problem. Um, not a big issue, but um, I just have to have some, some way to get there. Uh, the only thing I like to do is like I said, when you start these projects or, or a project is to A, have the right part so make sure that that part you got will fit um, and then b i like i said i took a picture of it so i know exactly where the wires go if you don't if you have any confusion always take a picture of what you're looking at and c have a backup plan uh, and that is have somebody else that's available like a neighbor that you can go and get the, another part because you're going to wind up breaking something or like this hub something's going to snap that you didn't plan on so you might as well have a plan C, which is have a backup, have somebody go that has a vehicle that can go. This is my only vehicle, so I can't just zip off to the nearest store, which is 20 miles away, um, to get a part uh, if I have a, a major breakdown. So, um, 
But this one I'll be able to order online and it should be here in a couple of days. I'm not going anywhere. So uh, I'll just wait till it gets here and then uh, put it on. Thanks for watching. Hope this little information was uh, informative. But then hopefully this part uh, will keep me from breaking down later on because I know it would have uh, as loose as that is. Um, it was on its way out. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on down the road. Oh, one other thing. Zen says, thanks for watching. And he...